Elyon has a lot of systems inside of it to progress your character and make them stronger. And one of the big systems in the game are the rune stones. There's lots of different types of rune stones. There's different reasons to run all different types of rune stones, and there's ways to upgrade them all as well. In this video, I'm going to be going over all of the types of rune stones in Elyon, where to get them, how to upgrade them, and some more tips about just how to farm rune dust and things like that. So this whole video is dedicated about the rune stone system in Elyon. What's going on, everybody? My name is Dilbo Dabbing. That is the word to be. Thank you so much for clicking on this video i stream monday through friday over on my twitch channel twitch.tv slash dilbo diving so if you have more questions about elion please come over there and ask me live i tried really hard to read every single message in my chat so if you got a question that is the best way to ask me you can also leave a comment down below a like and a subscription if you really enjoy this video along with my other elion content that i have on my channel check out all my other guides for more tips and tricks about elion and i'm an mmo content creator so you maybe you like other mmos as well this is a great place to be. All right, so let's jump right into this. I want to teach you everything I know about runestones in Elyon. All right, so here we are in Elyon, and I have my runestone inventory slot open right now. Now, I know this looks like a mess. I'll zoom in on the specific runestones when we're talking about them so I can go over it for you guys. But also, I just want to talk about why runestones are important. So every piece of gear has a number of rune slots on it. For instance, these shoes here that I have have a yellow, a blue, and a red runestone slot. Every runestone can be equipped via a slot. So if I wanted to equip this level five fate runestone that I have, I could drag it over into my shoes and now I'm getting the benefits from this runestone. So what are some of the benefits that you can get? Well, based on the level of your runestone, that is how many skill points you get. So this is a level five fate runestone. If I hit my K button, you can see up here at the top, I have 120 total skill points right now. If I were to go back into here and unequipped this runestone and I hit K again, see now I'm down by five, I'm at 115. So that's one benefit. It's actually gives you skill points and the higher level runestones can actually roll with extra attribute points on them. So you can get a level five runestone and have an extra roll on it that actually gives you more than just five skill points. It could be eight skill points. So along with that, every runestone, once you hit level three, adds extra stats to it. For instance, let's level five fate runestone has an acceleration four and accuracy four buff on it if i hover over this level three assault runestone i have skill attribute points one so this doesn't just give me three attribute points remember what we said this actually gives me four total attribute points so this is a really good reason on why to upgrade your runestones and we'll get into upgrading them here just in a minute so not only do runestones give you skill points they actually give you rune attribute points as well so if you look at your rune attribute tree here if i go ahead and click on the fate it opens up the rune attribute menu. And I've gone over this in a few other videos. Check out my complete Elyon starter guide as well. If you look at every single one of these trees, you have a specific number of rune level that you need to be able to activate these passes for your character. Each one of these levels gives you a whole other passes that is just on your character by default. So whenever you equipped a new rune stone, your rune attribute points go up. So again, we're at 28 total fate right now. If I go ahead and I equipped my level five rune stone that I have, I'm gonna go ahead and put it on my boots. Now I'm up at 33 fate and as you can see all of my other rune attributes went up by nine why is that well this is one thing i want to show you guys 33 fate is considered one of the best things to have in the game because of this rune energy talent increases the rune attribute points of every color by nine okay that's really good to have so i have that and i also am running 33 assault and this is specific for my gunner build okay so you might not necessarily want to run this keep in mind i have a gunner guide coming out later this week okay so that's kind of the base uses of runestone now there are some extra things that we'll get into but let's go ahead and actually cover all the different types of runestones in the game first things first you have your normal runestone this is what we were just talking about. This levels up your assault or your fate or your control and also gives you skill points and also gives you those extra attributes. Now you can get a balanced runestone, which doesn't have a color associated with it. These are used for upgrading or used for just equipping to get those extra skill points as well. This has no rune attribute associated with it. So I really just use these for upgrading. Tolerance runestones allow you to have certain immunities to effects inside of dungeons. So this level three Gale Tolerance runestone is a requirement for a specific dungeon called the advanced one player windy hall gale tolerance transcendent dungeon so if i had that equipped i would be able to join this dungeon as you can see right here it says fire tolerance rune stones level three so i have to have this equipped to be able to access this dungeon so some dungeons have an effect in it for instance this transcendent dungeon this one doesn't lock you out of going into it it still requires a tolerance rune stone we also have what is called just a transcendent rune stone now there's multiple different types of transcendent rune stones technically this is a transcendent rune stone as well so i'm going to go into the different types here for you it basically gives you a buff and then 
then also has some kind of perk to it. So for instance, if we look at the one I have on my gear, currently I have this level two transcendent runestone lightning release. If you look at it, it says runestone that increases vitality. So it has that vitality five on it was the extra attribute that I rolled on side of this. And it also still gives me that two skill points like we were talking about. If you read this, it says upon dealing a critical hit, fire lightning bolts to the target and three nearby enemies that deal 40 power electric damage. This adds an extra effect to my character just by having this runestone. This is a different effect than other things, right? It's not just an attribute. It's not just a stat. It's an actual effect. So when I'm fighting things, there's actually lightning that comes out when I'm critting and goes and does extra damage for me. So all of these types of runestones, and you can really tell the difference based on like the background of these, these all have different perks to them. Some decrease threat, some are fire buff, some are healing buff. So these are all a different type of runestone that you can get to allow a little bit of diversity in your build and things that you might want. So then there's another type of runestone, which are kind of given to you by the game. I'm not necessarily sure what to call all these but these two right here i have this level three transcendent runestone this is literally just a skill point buff so as you can see this gives me actually 24 attribute points this is a skill attribute transcendent runestone if i hover over this one this is a barrier okay so this gives me a buff as well but it's not necessarily the same type of runestone as these transcendent runestones i'm not necessarily sure why there's so many different types of transcendent runestones but just keep in mind i got these from the quest I have another one on me that gives me critical hit effect, just a pure transcendent runestone. And then again, these ones are a completely different type of transcendent runestone that, that do different types of effects. All right, so that's all the types of runestones in the game. Now, how do you acquire them? Let's start off with the basics. The very first type you get, just the normal rune attribute runestones, okay, the ones with the colors. These you just get from leveling up. So as long as you're following the quest, you're going to get a crap load of these, especially if you're leveling up your alts. That's a good way to get them is by leveling alts. You get a lot of extra ones. By also completing completing achievements and challenges in the game. For instance, you get this level one runestone chest. You also get higher level ones. For instance, I have a bunch in my inventory, these level three runestone chests. I got a lot of these from the training field. You'll, you'll get a lot of these chests that give you runestones throughout the game. And if you're looking for a specific type of runestone, say you don't have it for some reason, you can always do what you can also do with gear is you can hover over a specific part of the map. For instance, this area drops a assault runestone. Okay, you go farm over there, you'll get it. Or you can buy runestones on the marketplace. A lot of people sell higher level runestones on the marketplace all the time they're actually really good money makers if you have extra level fours just kind of lying around you can get them from dungeons you can get them from all different types of rewards so a big place to get those good transcendent runestones that we were talking about are in the weekly and daily portals so you have your daily portal odin sky isle is a great spot this is, drops all of these different high level runestones and these actually you purchase these via vendor with a currency inside of this particular portal you can also get more runestones from the weekly as well in exiles isle inside of wraith's monastery you get even more inside of the dragon garden you can get tolerance runestones again are the ones that allow you to access specific dungeons in the game and then you can also get runestones from completing transcendent dungeons these will give you all different types of transcendent runestones even more runestones more runestones so there's a lot of places to get runestones in this game hopefully that kind of helped you out there you're really going to get a lot of them and you really shouldn't have a problem trying to find the runestones that you need and if you do just look in those three spots really just look one to see if there's any quest you can do that might drop a chest for you or an achievement or challenge that you can complete look at all the dungeons see if there's a runestone that will drop via doing a dungeon look at your daily and weekly portals as well there'll be runestones that drop while you're doing that and then also really just as you're farming especially inside of like odin's sky as you're farming you're going to get all types of runestone like i mean you can spend the entire hour inside of Odin sky and walk out with a lot of runestones why do you want to upgrade your runestones it gives you those extra skill points right but again it also helps you free up other slots on your gear to be able to continue that rune attribute progression you can only have three transcendent runestones on your character at a time so if you don't have three open slots you can't put all three on you're not benefiting from it all we're going to roll a assault runestone here and i'm going to show you the entire process on here just so you guys know so you put in a runestone okay i'm gonna go ahead and hit the max button here you could do it one by one sometimes when you do it one by one right you just upgrade it one at a time it has a chance of rolling and doing like 1.5x polish instead of just you know one so you could do that if you want to i'm gonna go ahead and polish this for 20k now it is ready for upgrade and when it's ready for upgrade you can hit that switch upgrade button and now as long as you have a runestone of the same level 
for instance, I have this control runestone. You can put it into here and it has to be the runestone of the same level. It doesn't necessarily have to be of the same type. For instance, this is an assault. That's a control. Now there are some that have to be the same type and we'll cover that in just a second. And this is a really good place to be using your safe enhancement tools. I personally don't think using your safe enhancement tools on gear are smart, but using them for runestone upgrades is. Now I'm not gonna use it here because this is just a level four, but if this was going to a level five, I would 100% be using some safe enhancement tools. Let's go ahead and do this now. It's gonna success. I got one roll on it, right? So it has that skill attribute points two on it, which is great. So I would love to take this to five to be able to show you guys what happens there. But just keep in mind, level four to five, I think it's only like a 25% chance of it actually working. So you want to make sure you're using those safe enhancement tools to get level fives is kind of like the goal here, right? You kind of want to get to the point where you have a bunch of level fives on your gear because of that second stat that it gives you. So what was I talking about earlier where some rune stones need specific rune stones to upgrade? So if I go ahead and right click on this level one earthquake tolerance rune stone, if I just tried to put any level one in here, it would say a normal runestone cannot be used as a material. So when I hover over this, it says to upgrade runestones that are polished to the max can be upgraded to a higher level. When upgrading, you need a transcendent runestones of equal level or effect, and you need an earthquake upgrade stone. I would have to basically use another tolerance rune to be able to upgrade the tolerance rune. And then for tolerance runes, you need to have the type of transcendent rune upgrade stone that you need to be able to upgrade this. Okay, so this is earthquake transcendent rune upgrade stone. And you get these via the transcendent dungeons. So one of the rewards, as you can see, earthquake transcendent rune upgrade stone. Okay, so that covers the upgrading stuff. And if you have more questions about that, come over to my stream and ask me. I'm not necessarily sure if I explain that perfectly, but another question that always gets asked is how do I get more rune powder? I mean, technically, currently I'm really low on rune powder as well. I'm only at 35. A good way to get rune power is just by literally destroying runes that you don't need. Okay. So for instance, I don't need these blues here. As you can see, I get two for level ones. Also just destroying gear does great. So if I come in here and I'm going to take that hat out of there and I'm going to destroy this white hat. I also got room powder for that. Okay. So a good way to farm room powder, same way you farm a lot of stuff in this game, pop a laurel wreath. You find a spot on the map that you feel is cozy and you might need a piece of gear and you go farm. Okay. And you're going to get lots of gear that you don't need. And that's the gear that you destroy to be able to get the room powder. All right, guys, that is everything I know about rune stones. Did I forget something? Is there something that you know that I don't please put a comment down below. So that way I can begin to share the knowledge with people that come into my stream or ask me on YouTube. See, I don't necessarily know everything about this game. I'm just learning as I go. And as I learn, I like to teach people. So if there's something I don't know, please leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to pin that or heart it or something like that. The runestone system is kind of something you discover as you play the game. You're going to discover, oh, I need a tolerance runestone for this. Oh, what's this transcendent runestone I just got, right? So that kind of hopefully caught you up to where I am in the game. Hopefully got you thinking, okay, I need to be able to get to level five fate runestones here or level five assault runestones here. I want to get 33 fate. I want to get 33 assault. And here's the types of attributes I want all my runestones for instance, like skill points is a really good thing to have on your rune stones so hopefully that was super helpful if it was leave a like a comment and maybe hit that subscribe button we're getting really close to 2500 subscribers which is absolutely insane come over to my twitch channel twitch.tv slash dilbo dragons i'm live monday through friday and i will see you guys in the next alien video thank you so much for taking the time out of the day to watch this peace and love everybody peace and love